In this section of notes, we're going to take a look at the culture and society of the United States during the 1930s and the legacy of the New Deal. What did it actually accomplish? What do we remember about it today? Although the 1930s were a difficult time for many Americans, it was actually a very profitable and golden age for the motion picture and radio industries. By the end of the 1930s, approximately 65% of Americans attended the movies once a week, and nearly 90% of American households owned at least one radio. A big reason for this was that motion pictures and the radio offered escapism, escape from the difficulties of life during the Depression. Most movies were lighthearted and funny and offered an escape from that reality. Especially popular during this time period were comedies and musicals and love stories and gangster movies were really popular. A number of the gangsters from the 1920s and early 1930s were really popular movie characters during this time period. The motion picture and radio industries left a lasting impact on American culture. During the 1930s, popular movies included Gone with the Wind, The Wizard of Oz, and Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. On the radio, programs offered news and entertainment. Actor, producer, director, and writer Orson Welles produced the most renowned radio broadcast of all time, The War of the Worlds. And Franklin Roosevelt was heard by millions of Americans with his regular fireside chats. During a time of economic hardship, artists often struggled to sell their works. The New Deal and the WPA, the Works Progress Administration, helped artists by providing them with direct support. That allowed artists to produce some great works of art during the 1930s. Artists tended to focus on portraying the hardships of life during the Depression in a very realistic way. During this time, Grant Wood from Iowa painted his most famous work, The American Gothic, which is pictured on this slide. African American author Richard Wright wrote one of his best known novels called Native Son, which is about a young man trying to survive in a racist world. And John Steinbeck, Another famous American author wrote one of his most well-known works, The Grapes of Wrath, about the hardships of Okies fleeing the Dust Bowl and heading for California. The New Deal had many lasting effects. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, or the FDIC, continues to insure bank accounts to this day. The Securities and Exchange Commission, or the SEC, continues to regulate banking and investment activities. For the first time in our country's history during the Great Depression, people looked to the government for direct assistance and support. The Social, Social Security Act continues that legacy today by providing insurance for the elderly, unemployed, and disabled. The New Deal also promoted conservation of the environment, and many of these conservation programs endure to this day. They taught farmers how to conserve soil. The TVA, or the Tennessee Valley Authority, harness water power to generate electricity while also helping to control devastating floods in the Tennessee Valley area. And new national parks were added, like the Shenandoah National Park in Virginia, which is, which is pictured on this slide. Finally, it's important that we recognize that the New Deal did not end the Great Depression. It did address many of its causes and effects, and it did provide a great deal of assistance to the American people. But the Great Depression would actually not come to an end until the industrial boom caused by World War II.